next for doing a true deep clean is Shona. <laughs> All right, Shona, you got to be honest with me. How often do you deep clean? I deep clean like twice a year when the when the, okay. when the weather really changes like when it gets warm yeah. and when it gets cold yeah okay. you know what I mean like, yeah 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 that makes sense to yeah. me I thought you were gonna say six times and I was gonna say just get out <laughs> just go I think I think we all know I generally stay on top of that you stuff. do yeah, yeah, so you yeah. don't actually need to do many deep cleans because you are you're a good cleaner well I try and stay up on top of it so it's not that big yes. mountain but listen I've been there we've all been there we've yeah. all been there I need to do one right now to be honest okay yeah. well yeah. I think a lot of us are in that position we're you're gonna go through a few tips for us when it comes to cleaning and your mm -hmm. first one is super simple. What do we need to think about? Yes, I would like to introduce, reintroduce the world to the most miraculous cleaning product, and it's called soap. Oh, yes. I've heard of that. It's unbelievable how many DMs I get asking me for, like, tips and things like yeah. that and questions. How do you wash your countertops in your kitchen? How do you wash your wa soap. this? How do you wash soap. this? Soap. Just soap. soap and warm water. Yeah. Like, we don't always need a product. The products are there for us when we need it. Yeah. But we don't always need a special product for every single solitary task. Agree. Warm water with, like, a dish soap, for example, because it's, like, a nice mild soap, generally yeah. speaking, can clean everything. And or, or mo many things. Yeah. And if it doesn't clean it entirely, mm -hmm. it gives you a major head start. So let's say you've yeah. taken too long to clean your range, uh -huh. and it's kind of looking gnarly and stuff. Yeah. If you start with with the warm water or the hot water, if your hands can take it, mm -hmm. um, and some good soap, it's going to clean probably like eighty percent mm -hmm. of it off. And then when you have to go to the specialized cleaners, you're using less of it. Right. So you're saving maybe the planet if you're not using eco-friendly things, and mm -hmm. your wallet. You're using right. less products. So. Let's go to the dish soap, soap. people soap and water. Yeah. And if it's something that it's on like a flat surface, like I'm gonna stick with the range. Yeah. And you can't like soak it. Just get a you know microfiber cloth. I'm a big fan of these for a lot of different reasons. Soak it and just lay it on top of that burnt. Yeah. Food, pasta sauce, or Cheese. whatever it is. Yeah. Get, let it soak for a little bit and then wipe it up. And I bet you, I bet you it's probably gonna be almost gone. No, I agree with that. Yeah. So yeah, you soap people. Yes. Next up, what have you got for Next us? Next up, a lot of us probably already have. Goo gone in mm -hmm. our closets. Yeah, because it's awesome for taking off the price tags. That's what everybody does uses yes. it for. Right? Well, for those of us who don't have them, that's what they're good for, right? The yes. tags, the stickiness. I mostly see them in studio. I don't have this at home, and I need to get it. Yes, Christmas present idea for Tracy. Yes, because this, it is one of those things that are so great just yeah. to always have on hand. Mm -hmm. It does a whole lot of things, but I'm going to stick with the range because that's a hot yes. question I'm getting a lot now. Um, it's it's really really fantastic for cutting through grease. Mm. So even your range or how about your range hood? You know all mm -hmm. that grease that gets sticks on those screens yeah. and stuff. You you can just spray it with the goo gun on it and it, it it'll cut through the grease just like it cuts through the sticky on the price tags. Yes. Which is again what we're using a lot for. It does other things. It takes crayon off walls and anything oh. you kind of need to soak through something. It yeah. does that. But it's particularly good for cleaning off your range or even your barbecue. Ooh, that's very coming good. too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to talk about vinegar. Vinegar comes up a lot. Vinegar is your friend uh, yes. when it comes to cleaning. Vinegar is your friend when it comes to cleaning. Be careful. It doesn't do absolutely everything. Yeah. It can do some things like if you have really high polished countertops, for example, it can etch that over time okay. because it's uh, it could be a little smidge like harsh and corrosive on yeah. it, but it does a lot. So okay. I don't want to scare you from vinegar. Um, it's particularly good when you have a lot of the water bottles, yes. decan wine decanters maybe, vases, all the things you can't get your hand into yeah. to be able to wash, right? And if you've got um, calcium rich water, you get those white mm -hmm. stains all over them, those can be a total nightmare to get off. Mm -hmm. So let's use it, this decanter, I know it doesn't have the stains, it's mine from my house, so uh, I can, there it goes, see it works. She used her tip. Um, yeah, it works. <laughs> you wanna put in some warm water into whatever it is you're trying to clean, and then add rice. Whatever rice you have on hand, white rice, instant rice, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Because what it's going to do you could then add our friend dish soap if you want it. Yeah. But the, what it's going to do is that rice is going to just give you that little bit of abrasion inside of the vase or the mm -hmm. water bottle. You were shaking a water bottle. If it's still not coming up, add a little bit of vinegar into this, you know, like a tablespoon or something. Mm -hmm. And that's going to take all those white residue and all that thing, all those things, the grime that yes. happens inside these containers. Yeah. Take them off in a whiff. Vases, all of that good stuff. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the biggest laundry mistake most of us are making? Daily, weekly. Yeah. By far the biggest mistake, mm -hmm. might surprise you, it's using too much laundry detergent. Yeah. 
it sticks we think to the your more clothes. the more. We 100 percent yeah. do, right? Put more in, it'll be cleaner. Yes, 100. percent It is absolutely it not. It sticks. It, it harms your machine. It yeah. can clog up your machine. Yeah. It sticks to the clothes. There's mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of stuff it does. Mm -hmm. I have many times said how much you're supposed to use or yes, how little you you're supposed to use, <laughs> but it may not always stick when it's a measurement. Okay. Well, this company Swash has come up with the most genius. Genius packaging for their detergent to okay. really take care of your clothes, not just wash them, but take care right. of them. Okay, so grab a bottle. We're yep. gonna do this. The tap, the spout measures exactly how much you're supposed to use for a load of laundry. So turn it upside down. Okay. Yeah, it won't come out. And then squeeze until it stops. That's it. See how the bottle stops? Oh, that's it. Let go. Oh, I would get frustrated. Okay. No, <laughs> but that. <laughs> I need more. I don't want to do it right. It's all I want to do it. It's yeah. all you need. That's all. That is so cool. It's roughly like a tablespoon oh for God, one load. Oh my God, it's so small. Yeah, I know. Everyone's buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah. I know. I love talking about this. They're, it's so brilliant. Yeah. It's about a tablespoon. This is for a regular road load. Yeah. HE washer, you can use them in like the old style kind of washers as well. Okay. And if you have one of those extra large machines, two squirts, and that and will do done. it. This bottle does 83 loads of laundry. <gasps> 83 I loads like in this beautiful bottle. The audience needs to try this. You're all going to get one of these. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Take it. Yeah, you are. Only use what you need to use. Yes. Now you've got one more tip for us when it comes to our deep cleaning. Yes, I want to say you can ask for help when you need it. Yes. If there is a task or something clean to clean in your home, that is a tougher thing to do. Mm -hmm. Get somebody to do it. We mm -hmm. recently had our sofas cleaned here in the studio, for yes. example. And we had Toronto Steam and Clean come because it wasn't something any of us wanted to tackle. Right. You maybe you don't want to buy your own steam cleaner. Right. Maybe you don't want to do the task, you're not confident in Maybe doing you it. have a disability. Maybe you can't move around. Maybe uh, you have mobility issues. Yeah. Maybe you have arthritis. Or maybe like, you're busy. Maybe and you, you just, just want it. somebody else yes. to do it, right? That's right. So go to these companies. They're here, they're the yeah. specialists. If there's one thing, you know, your kid dropped on this, or your pet, you know, pets on the sofa, whatever, yeah. let somebody else take care of it if it's not in your wheelhouse. Oh, I love that advice, Shones. Thanks. Mm -hmm.